Hello there and welcome. My name's Suzanne from Nonstop Paper Crafts. Thank you for joining me again on my channel. Okay, so we are here for the final part then to get this folio finished. So all we're doing now is this back section. Now I have prepped some bits because they are um, pretty simple. I will obviously talk you through what I've done. Um, but when we finished off, um, we've got all of the front section done. We were just doing the back and we have um, made this envelope and covered it. So all I've done um, since the end of the last video is I have put on one of these circles again, just with a split pin. And then all I've done is just wrapped a piece of string around it and then got it long enough so that I can um, attach it to the back. OK, so that's all I've done since the last time uh, to the envelope. And then just the pieces that are going on the back here. I have just cut a piece of paper that is going to be the back panel. So again, just making sure that it's um, not butting up against um, the edge there. And then um, I have got a pocket ready. So as you can see, I've already sewn around it. And I've got my tabs just because I wanted this to be a bit more of a gusseted pocket. So you could have something slightly thicker in there. So that's going to be stuck to the bottom. And then that's going to be wrapped around the edges. I've got two pockets either side. So I'll show you how I did these in a moment. But they've got two flaps there. That's literally going to tuck underneath. Let's get rid of that pocket for a minute. That's going to get tucked underneath there. And then they're literally going to kind of flap over each other. OK, so this one is just one big tall pocket. So the whole thing is a big pocket. This one um, I have sewn and although it looks like I've sewn down the edge, this edge is actually open. So I now have two pockets, so two side opening pockets. OK, so one at the top and one at the bottom. OK, um, and the way that I did these is I just had a sheet of paper. Let's see if I can get some paper to show you. So I'll just use a sheet of tea dyed as an example. So all I did to make these is um, obviously just making sure that I wasn't making it any bigger than this because it had to fit within this. So all I did was fold it over so that it roughly lined up just slightly smaller than this because obviously you don't want to make it as big and then I literally that's all I did okay so this is now the hinge so this is the flap that's going to get tucked underneath then for this big pocket all I did was sew around the um, edges and then obviously left the top open and cut my notch for this one to make it so that there are holes in the sides all I did is I just cut a teeny sliver off this folded edge so a teeny sliver off the folded edge and then um, when these were two separate pieces I quickly sewed down those edges then I put it all together as it is here and then I sewed around the whole thing um, sorry just that shape the C shape and then through the middle okay so I did these edges separate so you can see it's stitched here separately and then when it was all together I then went around this edge and through the middle okay but they're both made the same way so it's literally just a piece of paper folded in so that it's no wider than your base and then whatever's left over is just going to become your hinge um, obviously this one has a smaller hinge than obviously what's here because these are obviously trimmed down. They're not a full A4 size. So that's why this hinge looks much bigger. But that's how you make those. Really, really simple. OK, so I've got those hinging off. And then the only other thing that I've done uh, to get ready is for the envelope, I want to make this more of a gusseted envelope. So I have um, a piece of spare. So this is one of my cutoffs. And you just want it roughly the height of this piece it's not the height of the entire envelope because obviously you've got a space there so just the height of this section and this is two inches wide and then all I've done is I've scored every half inch so you should have three score lines or four individual pieces if that makes sense okay 
and then all we're going to do is fold in at the middle and then the other two pieces are going to fold out so that you end up with a W okay and then that is going to get stuck in there like that okay so it just make allows your pocket to expand a little bit okay so just make an M and then these two bits are going to get stuck down but you might see this on the edge which is why I've got the pretty side out so obviously as you expand you're going to see that edging which is why I've got a decorated piece okay so as I said it has to be the height of your envelope now your height might be different to um, mine but it has to be two inches wide and then scored every half inch and then folded to make that M okay so you need obviously two pieces for that so I'm just going to do that again fold in half fold back out and then these are going to get glued in now the inside of this one is going to look different to my other one so I didn't do all of these um, on my other one uh, so on this one um, I still had my envelope and it is still gusseted so I've got my uh, M there but I had this flapping down now you can do this if you want and you just obviously hide the hinge underneath this pocket but I don't know I just don't I'm just not sure whether personally for me if I was to use this I like things flipping down I'd much rather things kind of open up and it all stays within the folio so um, that's why I've chosen not to do that one this time I've still kept obviously this big pocket the only thing I'm changing I do like the side pocket so that's why instead of having this coming down I've got essentially two of these stacked on top of one another and that gets hinged off of this bit so here's my again gusseted pocket um and yeah so that's what i've changed from this one but like i said you can of course do this um you would just have your hinge hidden underneath this pocket okay right so what i'm going to do next then so like i said i've already um sewn around so i'm just going to um start sticking i will slightly speed up the process so um you're not seeing me do this very very slowly i'm sure you all know how to um, apply glue so um i am going to speed it up but obviously make sure that you can still see what i'm doing right let's get to it
Okay, so there we have that middle section. So your envelope flips out that way. You've got these bits which flip out here. Um, you could add a pocket here. The only reason I haven't is, again, I really love this design, so I don't really want to cover anything up. Um, and then, yeah, we've got then a deeper envelope here. Okay, so now we just need to attach this to here. So same principle. You just want to make sure that obviously um, your cover still comes up to a 90 degree angle um, and then try and get this in the middle because remember it was a little bit shorter wasn't it so you just want to make sure that it's in the middle you've got equal height at top and bottom and then this is going to be glued down I am going to use my um, beacon 3 and one for this because I obviously need this to be really secure so I'm going to just tuck that under there just to keep that out the way and then I'm going to glue this onto here. Okay, so now that that's all glued in, I'm just going to give that um, a little bit to dry. And while um, it's drying, I'm just going to um, print off some more pages, use up some of my scraps, and I'm just going to create little um, tags and journaling cards and things to go in here. And then, yeah, we can have a look at doing a final flip through. Okay, so we are all done with creating this new folio. So I have um, taken the time to just fill this up a little bit, add um, a couple of extra bits of decoration to it, which I'm going to do a flip through and show you now. Obviously, how you choose to fill this is entirely up to you, but maybe you'll get some ideas and inspiration from what I have. So without further ado, let's do a little flip through. Okay, so that was the flip through for this folio. I have thoroughly enjoyed making number two. This has been an awesome project. I'm really glad I made another one. And I really hope that you gave this a go. Um, if you did and you share it on Facebook, Instagram, make sure you tag me in because I would love to see what you do with them. I changed it from the original tutorial that I saw. Um, so it's really interesting to see where other people will take it. So definitely tag me in. I would love to see um, what you do with this. I really hope that you have found this useful. Please give the video a like if you did. If you want to see more crafty videos and you are not a subscriber already, then do click that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified of any new videos. You can find me on social media. Those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I can't believe um, last time I checked, I'm at something like 895 subscribers. So I'm um, very close to 900, which is just mind blowing. It's unbelievable. So thank you to everybody who is watching and supporting. I hope you all have a fabulous crafty day. See you later now. Bye bye.